Hey y'all, greetings and peace be on to you. And so I'm going to get right into it. Y'all, it has been a hell of a week. Um, I've been kind of, I'll, I'll kind of let y'all know, not kind of, I always let y'all know um, my screen is freezing, but I, it's doing it today for some reason. Some days it do it more than others. However, I'm going to keep on speaking. And so I always let y'all know when it's been a difficult week. And so it's not every day. It's just the Lord, he allows certain things for a purpose to show reveal himself to reveal his power and so a couple of days ago that's not why I didn't come on uh, yesterday the reason I didn't because of father he told me not to and so it doesn't matter how um, how into it you are or how much you speak truth if he say be quiet you got to be obedient to that because it's for purpose and so he wants me to tell these three stories. This video is going to be about that, but I have some scriptures, but they're going to be in the other videos. Um, I may have some in this one, but not as many. And so the first one, I have three stories of interactions with wicked people. The first one was like maybe over two weeks ago. Very interesting because it was when, like that battle, um, I only go out when the fa father tells me to when he say go out I have to go out I don't have a choice I have to be obedient to that when he says stay home I have to be obedient to that and so that's walking in the spirit you're moving how he says to move and so um, mind you I'm going to start with this morning I start when I woke up this morning like the past couple weeks weeks I kind of been kind of nauseous and so it escalated this past week it escalated and so um, this morning I just had a little bit of water and um, I spit up that water because I thought about what this lady did yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or the day before yesterday. I'm trying to think, y'all. Hang on. My days are like running into each other like crazy. It was the day before yesterday. The same day this other wicked person that came that tried to come for me. And so, ain't work. Y'all know how I am. You know how I am. You know, everybody want to be gangster behind the keyboard. But with me, I'm going to say what it is my father want me to say regardless. And so, it was the day before yesterday, that same day. It was like a, a, a severe kind of attack day. And so, I had to go out. I didn't have a choice. I went out and um, the store that I had went to, when I was checking out, the lady didn't have on a mask and she took a whole hand and licked her hand several times to touch my stuff. I couldn't get my Lysol out fast enough, y'all. I didn't mean to spray her with the Lysol. I sprayed myself and I sprayed her. I feel like you, sh in this time, I feel like you should be able to press charges when people do that. Because we are still in that time where people are still getting COVID. And y'all are just being disgusting. And so, she licked her whole hand. Touch my stuff, touch my bag. But see, the thing about me, um, if they don't tamper with it at the factory, I'm going to clean it up regardless because that's just how I am. And so, lick the whole hand, y'all. So, I sprayed it. I sprayed myself and sprayed her because I couldn't turn. The, I just was, I wasn't really flustered. I just was like, I can't believe this. But I didn't say not a mumbling word. I didn't say a word. So, I just, I sprayed myself and sprayed her. And of course, she was trying to see what, what it was that, that hit her too. And so, I sprayed all my bags. Just shh, I probably sprayed the whole little can in, in the bag because I always spray my bags when I get them to the car. Anyway, but I, I'm sure she didn't expect me to pull that spray out my purse, but I did. It wasn't y'all's. It was mine. And so, I sprayed all of my bags. I had a wipe in my hands, which I carry, a Lysol wipe in my hand. I carry it whenever I'm in public. And so, I wiped all of my bags off right in front of her, sprayed her and me in front of her. I wasn't upset about it, but I just was talking to the father about it. And so she made sure to go outside to see what I was driving. She just wanted to come closer. And you know how them witches do. If y'all don't know, you need to get this. We are in that time where the nefarious ones, they are just how God is sending his generals. They're sending out their generals. I say they're little soldiers because they ain't generals up against God's people. That's just what it is. I don't care who you are. And so... That was the incident that day. And then I'm going to speak two weeks prior. And so I'm just making sure that the father wants me to keep going on this. And so on that same day, 
um, there was a video that the father had me do on Wednesday. And the video I initially named it, he asked, I asked, I always asked him what he wants me to name it. And he specifically had me do that. But this time he had me change the name of it. See, you got to be pliable and you got to do what it is the father wants you to do. Even when you're sure, you got to continue to ask him questions. And so he had me name it, um, Soldiers of the Cross. That's what he had me initially name it. So it brought this witch out. She was hot. The first time she tried to make it not just to try to engage you. You know, they first ones always kind of um, general to just engage you. And she was speaking on the cross, you know, um, why people wear a cross and this and that. You think Jesus want to see that when he come back. Jesus ain't going to think about no cross when he come back. Y'all, y'all the ones that still focus on the cross. He coming back the ultimate warrior undefeated to shut all wickedness down, to set all things straight. And so. Um, I almost like sent this long and I paused. So the father had me pause and he gave me a few words back. That's what I, whatever he gave me, that's what I gave back. Then they came again. You know, the second time is a little bit more aggressive. But if you don't receive what they say, by the third time they try to get more aggressive. I only do two times. You know, that's all the Lord gave me. I just give him a, a little bit of what he gave me because I'm not going to go back and forth with you. And it's going to be biblical and it's going to be his word. And so, I'm sorry if my screen keeps freezing. Um, it does that sometimes. It will get better, y'all. I just have to do what I can do at this moment. And so, get the message in it. Because this, this is, this is going to save some of y'all eternal lives. You know, for whether you believe or not believe. Because Jesus didn't come to save the righteous. See, some of y'all are so self-righteous that you don't want to continue to change. Some of you are righteous. And y'all are the ones that are silent. I don't get that. And so, the Father is setting all things straight even now. When we see him, everything going to be final on that day. And so, the second time, it, it came back with, um, let's see. The second time, they was focused on the lake of fire. If you write, you ain't worried about the lake of fire. Because you know that ain't going to be your home. And so, what it said was um, that... Um, if a loving father, you know, I just simply stated what the father gave me as far as what he did at the cross. It's your choice is what he gave me to say to her. And this is mine. You can't sway me and I ain't going to try to sway you. This ain't for you. If you if you are wicked and nefarious and your mind made up and you already marked, this ain't for you. So why why come on a Christian um, video? You just looking for a fight. It ain't nothing you can tell me, nefarious ones. I'm only listening to my brothers, my father first and foremost, and my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I know who they are. You can't fool me. And so, um, that's they came back with my father on earth did not um is not making me um is not threatening me with the lake of fire in those words similar to that, but it was based on the lake of fire. And I said my father on earth corrected me. You know. That's some of the problem with this world. My fa my papa on earth, he corrected me. And so that's why I learned true reverence from for the father in heaven from him. That's why I learned it from. And so, yes, African Americans have fathers as well on earth. So because it was another race, it was, it was very interesting. Time I said I, I love all races, here they come different races like they just try different people um the nefarious ones they do they try every angle just to get in your head and in your heart you can't i got the mind and the heart of christ you can't you can't fool me and so before i even looked at the message the alarm went off in spirit i already knew what it was and so um i didn't debate y'all know i'm winded i can be winded and i i I used to be the person of a few words, but I'm going to say what it is my father wants me to say because I'm trying to help you out. You know, I didn't have that help um, besides the father. And so I'm directing you back at the feet of Jesus because that's where we all need to go. That's what, We need to be sure of our relationship with him. And so um, the third time went off. Um, whatever they said, I can't remember everything, but um, it was disrespectful to the father. Y'all know I was, ooh, you know I was heated but i didn't the father took it away and all and this morning he had me think on forgive them father for they know not what they do she has no clue of what awaits if you do not repent and turn away from the filth of this world and what's ironic is um 
I went to check and see if she was even a Christian. She had nothing but filth on her page. That's that's the bad part. I mean, total filth, y'all. Filth. And so, um, they stalk you. They stalk you. They stalk you in life. They stalk you wherever you go. Now, I got all these people, um, you know, they'll send friend requests and all of this, but I'm setting everything private. If I don't know you, you won't be on anything. You know, this is going to be public because I'm not even thinking about you. You know, you, you come from me. I'm just going to ask the Father, what should I do? You'll be blocked, and that's it. I'm not going to go back and forth with you because this ain't for you. So, you need to keep it moving because you got the wrong one. And so, um... She said some really mean things about the father, y'all. And um, she said in it. She said in it. And that's what he told me. That, like people like that, he'll tell you you're, they're set in it. So even the woman at the store and the other woman at the other store, it's, those people he don't want me to say anything to. It's fruitless. They already set in it. So it's nothing that you can say to change those type of people. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. You'll end up more sick, more um, messed up than... You know, you don't focus on that. Focus on Jesus Christ. And so, once I get done with her, I'm going to tell you about the other person. This was a couple weeks back. But I noticed with me, certain things start to happen. And I'm going to explain those things. But my father is so faithful. He's so faithful. He's a true healer. You know, he is a healer. The things that they try to attack and do in the spirit realm, God is shutting it down. It's done. And so, uh... She blasphemed me, God. It's ironic and amazing that I he he gave that to me on Wednesday. There is no way she watched that video on blasphemy. Um, when he was having me speak on blasphemy, there's no way that she saw it because the comment that she gave was on um I think it said seven hours prior to um Wednesday. So she there was no way that she would know that the father had me speak on blasphemy. Um in my later videos because she hadn't even watched those she was speaking on soldiers of the cross and so she blasphemed me god which it goes to show he kept giving revelations 13 and 14 those were two two chapters that he had me mention we are looking for a bunch of people to be doing these things but he's showing you specific people that are doing it but it's all over um just how they're doing it this person has the spirit of the antichrist she does not believe in jesus christ she will not believe in jesus christ so it doesn't matter what i would have said to her she would not have received it. That's what the father said. And so um, he allows me to say certain things. It's brief, concise, and to the point, and then block. That's it. And so he's going to bring that back to her remembrance. That's the sad part for her. And so this is what the father said to me. As strong as my belief is in him, their belief is just as strong in themselves, themselves, pride, and their lowercase G-O-D. Um, blasphemy. This is what he gave me. Um, that was to fulfill the word that he gave that day. Which was Revelations chapter 13. Which speaks on blasphemy. You know, um, swelling words. That's pride. You know, some things are... Um, it, it's... I got to stop saying common sense. Because some people don't have common sense. That's uh, one thing that I've heard a lot. And my baby sister loved to say that. Some people just don't have common sense. And so you can't expect them to have it. Because they just don't. Um, that's sad y'all. That's sad. However. I mean keep it moving. And so he already had me say all of that. There is no way, way she knew that he had me talk on this, uh, speak on this that day. Um, so I asked the father again. I was like, you know, um, just for wickedness, what do you want me to change this um, title to? Because y'all already know. And she said, Jesus, I told y'all wicked people can say Jesus in this time. I told y'all since 2013, that wicked woman can say Jesus. It, it, didn't, it didn't affect her unless a true believer said it. And I told you there was um, this, this um, she, she did somebody here and she told both of us to pray. She told both of us to pray, y'all. And so I, I prayed. The other lady just kept saying Jesus and nothing happened. So whatever the Lord gave me, I have no clue. It made that witch that wicked woman cried. She went to the bathroom, did what that wickedness and came back. And so I guess she called herself doing battle because I remember her um 
speaking in an unknown language that time and I, I remember her her eyes got red, red and she manifested uh, a demon and I remember my stomach turned but I didn't feel fearful in my heart at all like I didn't feel no fear when I was standing it's almost like we were battling in the spirit and so the Lord just brought that to my remembrance just now you know all these years this witch still not did not give up she did not give up and so I didn't give up either y'all I couldn't I couldn't give up because the Holy Spirit wouldn't allow me to. Jesus is with us. He said he'll be with us even until the end. Into eternity. Okay. And so. And as I stated. Initially he had me put soldiers of the cross. And so he had me change it to. Soldiers of Jesus Christ. That's what he had me change it to. Soldiers of Jesus Christ. You ain't seen nothing like it. Because y'all thought y'all had us. Because God. Allow the deceivers to be deceived. You thought that it was going to be one way. He's switching it up in the end. You ain't seen nothing like the true and living God. And so. Um, that's the end of this um, person. I have a little bit more at the end that the Lord gave me. But it's not a lot. It's relating. You know. Y'all got to watch people of God. You got to be in a time where you are watching. You are vigilant. Sober. And alert. You got to be. There is no other way. And the only way to do that is in spirit. Um, so I don't have to repeat it. He just brought it to me just now. That you have wicked people that are trying to um, say that they're being attacked. They're trying to appear like they are victim like you. Those wolves in sheep clothing. That's, you know, that's what he gave me as well. And so they're trying to gain your trust. But in spirit, you know them. You can't fool people that are walking in the spirit of the living God. You can't fool them. If the Lord allow it, it's for training purposes. You're not gonna go, you're not gonna fail the same test over and over again. The Holy Spirit is not gonna allow you to. It is for training purposes so that your discernment continue to grow and that you get stronger in spirit. And so, um, watch those that always complain about being attacked because that wicked woman did that. She was saying that she was being attacked. She had these cameras on her um, salon. Um, she said people were throwing feces on her salon. I ain't never seen nothing happen, but she said she was being harassed, but that's because she was attacking other people. That's why. And it was some of them was wicked, too, and it was coming for her. And they, you, that's just not some, a way that I wanted to live my life is looking over my shoulder constantly. I would tell the father that all the time because that's the whole point of living in truth and integrity, integrity so you're not looking over your shoulder. You know, I see if you're living in sin, but as a righteous person, this is not, this should not be. It should not be. Um, when you know you haven't done anything besides choose Jesus Christ. But he said it would be like this. And so the third incident was, like I said, it was a couple weeks ago. And um, the basic items that I got, just for me, sometimes things just don't taste the same. Like I, I get in a way where I don't want to eat or I don't want to eat it or whatever. Or it burns my mouth and just different stuff like that. It's just... The Lord allows you to know certain things in spirit. And so with this incident, I went to self-checkout, but they'll send they now they post up at self-checkout and they'll sit there and just, they'll specifically watch you. And I used to think that they did it because I was African American. That's not why. They did it specifically because I'm marked too by the true and living God. And that's why they did it. And they know that I'm aware of what they're doing. And so she was standing there watching me the whole time. And time my time the um little um screen froze here she come and so i did like this i didn't open my mouth not one time i just did like this how about the item rung up wrong y'all after i had to rung up everything that particular item rung up wrong i needed for her to come and help after that and so what i did was um pointed um, I looked at her and did the little hand. I, everything was a hand motion. Um, I pointed at what I had. Pointed at the screen. <laughs> I just did all that. And so um, she's still trying to engage. Like trying to figure out. So on the way out she said what she said or whatever. And, I, doop, and kept it moving. But I already knew. I, I, I Just how you identify me. I identify you as well. And so. Um, after that it just seemed like. I know when things are in the spiritual realm. I know when it's getting down. And I, in certain days, it be getting down, y'all. And then certain times, you know, I, I'm thinking of my papa. 
on earth he would say this that um, sometimes good win and sometimes evil win although we have victory all the time but every battle you know when we start to go through or it start to manifest in a natural when when I'm being attacked it manifests in a natural light they always try to attack my face um, I'll get start getting bad rash in my face um, itchy um, skin with no rash itchy skin with no rash or um, nauseous in my stomach or headaches stuff like that where the enemy try to the Lord allows he instigate evil that's that's just what I look down at just now he instigate evil to fulfill your plans because God can't be evil so he allows certain things to show you his power to show you how he's healing you to show you how he's strengthening you if you just sit in that thing which I have done in 2013 you know um, if you sit in that thing too long you get worse off you got to believe in faith the power of God or for what it truly is it's pure it's pure and it's always good you know I don't have to do nothing to nobody you know nothing I don't even have to pray for you or against you God gonna deal with you because he knows my heart and he knows the hearts of his people and he's gonna deal with you as he is doing in this time that's why he kept giving me vengeance over and over again me not realizing that I was on the severe attack again until the certain things started manifesting that happened to me in 2013 and I'm like praying to the that's why he kept telling me that you know this is the final one you're gonna need help like he's giving me help in the final steps is what he gave a couple of days ago which is done now it's completely done correct that's why I pause I want to hear him say it that it's completely done I feel the spirit that it is even though I feel certain kind of ways in spirit I still ask anyway you gotta ask him anyway and so I'm going to read a couple things that he gave us. Not a lot today as far as reading, but he has, you know, two specific things he wants me to talk about. And I'm going to do them in two separate videos. Um, he took me back out um, yesterday. I kind of just watched um, my own videos and I felt encouraged, you know, um, as I stated. It, it was amazing how he let allowed it for a short period of time of the things that I experienced. Not just it was really bad in 2013 and 2014. But as I grew stronger, my it ch I changed as far as not today, Satan. You know, it, it's just it's crazy how some people are caught up on what they look like on the outside. I'm not caught up on that. So, but wicked always that's what they want to attack. They either want to attack me in my head, my hair, or my face, or anything on the outside. That's what they want to attack you on to to make you feel some kind of way or insecure or whatever. And so. I don't care about that. I care about my heart and my mind and who I'm going with. That's what's important to me. My father is important to me. That's what's important to me. Um, if you don't like the way I look, don't look at me. You know, um, it's amazing because when I started doing YouTube, I wouldn't even come on camera at all. I just would put pictures up and, and just talk and that's it. And so that's not what he wanted me to do. I did that because um, I was shy. Like... Um, most people don't know like I would be bold at times growing up and then I would be shy you would have to get me mad for me to just be like a lion and so um, let's see okay he also had me write he wants me to share this in time beast God's divine plan all of this is God's plan stop giving people credit this ain't they credit this is God's divine plan. He's allowing it. Remember that. It's what he allows. Um, that's why we as righteous and as believers go to him because he control everything. He's the God over all. And so when you say that, you got to let that resonate in your mind and your heart that he is the God over all. It's his will that's done. You know, that's another thing he kept giving me over the weekend was Job. Not the weekend, y'all. The last couple days. It felt like the weekend. But the last couple days was Job. And how he removed the evil that he allowed upon him. Um, that's all it was. You know, y'all know the story of Job. Most of y'all know the story of Job. Heck, even if you don't believe you know the story of Job. And so, let's see. We must have childlike faith. He keeps giving me that. That's for somebody else. We must have childlike faith. You know, that innocence. That trusting of him. I'm speaking of him to him. Not to mankind but to God Almighty. Trusting you know him. Open to him. Because he knows our hearts and our minds. Uh, let's see. Frank. 
to the point. You know, that's one thing. I am very frank with the Father. If I feel some kind of way about something, I let him know in a respectful manner. I'm not finna be going off and acting, but I, there have been times where I'm just like screaming and like, Jesus, help me. You know, I'm, I'm doing your will. I, I am being obe obedient to you. I am being faithful to you. Help me. And so, and simple. That, that's Jesus Christ. He was all of these things. All of these things. He didn't do it. He's not asking us to do anything. He didn't do himself. Y'all, I it's just, I can't let. I feel some kind of way when you speak about the father. Because when you speak about him in a, in a disrespectful manner. And that's why that witch did that on Wednesday too. Because my heart, that's, he's my heart. And I go to bat for people I love. I do. And so, he just told me, <laughs> let it go. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do because, you know, he's dealing. And when he deals with you, it ain't nothing nice. It ain't nothing nice. And so, prophetic, short space. Okay, I had to ask. He want me to say this. Um, my screen keeps freezing, y'all. I am so sorry that it keeps freezing. But God, I'm going to press through and be persistent. I hope you can get the message in it. It's, it's pausing, but it will keep going. Um, he quickens our hearts. You know, he um, revives us in spirit. He kept reviving me. I kept telling y'all that the Father kept reviving me. These past couple weeks, he kept healing me and reviving me from the attacks that were coming against me. And so... Um, check out the video on rejection if you have not. Um, another video, Be Encouraged. Uh, let's see. He gave a couple videos. These are some of the ones that I went back and I watched myself. Um, also, we, for me, service to the doctrine of truth. I am mandated. And that's all I'm going to speak. The truth. So help me God. And so... You must be strong to speak the truth because especially in this time it's rejected. And so even though people reject it, that don't mean you stop speaking the truth. You keep speaking the truth because God is the one that, that makes it manifest, not us. We just speak it forth and his word is not going to return void. He's been showing that. And so I know I have um, speaking truth pisses off the gates of hell, but it ain't nothing they can do with God's people. Nothing. We on that rock, that solid rock. Our faith is solid, and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. And so, he also wants me to share fighting until the last one destroyed. Faith and obedience is what he gave over and over again. But um, I'm going to be doing a video, faithful and obedient. Is the other video is what he gave this morning. He's setting some of you free, divinely setting you free. You know, um, it's what your faith is. It's the measure of your faith. If you believe you're free, you're free. If you believe you're healed, you're healed. If you believe you are delivered, whatever it is, that's what it is. It's the measure of your faith. And so after they hear me write, um, faith of a mustard, mustard seed can move mountains. Always remember that a mustard, mustard seed grow into one of the largest trees. So your faith got to continue to grow. You're not going to stay the same in your faith. You know, that's something that I pray for. Probably when I was in my 20s um, for him to increase my faith. And I didn't know what it entailed, but, it, you know, he did increase my faith. Um, a lot of good, more good than bad, I must say. Um, just him miraculously working in my life. That increases your faith. When you see him move on your behalf, it increases your faith. It does. Let's see. Um, check out the video. I already said this one about mind, heart equals words of actions um, that's for somebody if you haven't seen it some may have just a word for you because I ever listened back to them and they had a word for me so I was taking notes and it's just God is amazing he's just amazing also heavenly and demonic wisdom these are some of the ones that I, I listened to when I didn't do a video myself um, also the fake conference I think I changed the name to it because I think initially it was true deliverance, but then I put testimony of the fake 
conference or false conference. I want to say it's testimony on a false conference or something like that. Uh, let's see. All right. There's a, also another video he wants me to mention is um, Pity the Fool. Pity the Fool. That's um, another video. Mm, let's see. What else? Mm. All right. Also, he wants me to share this. Prophecy of the Bride. But another thing the Father has given me, not only prophecy of the bride, but the widow also. And I'm not speaking on the widow that gave all she had or anything like that. This is symbolic. Um, just how Jesus is coming back for his bride, the church. Same thing. Satan, widow. Widow because you're going to be sorrow, death, all that. If you do not believe in the true and living God. And so that's what he gave me yesterday. And um, he wants me to share this uh, video that I saw. I want to say earlier this year or either the last year. It may have been earlier this year. I'm not 100% certain on that. If I said earlier this year. And it was a man and his wife. They were in a church building. It was a man and his wife. Um, they were up. They were called up for prayer. Like I've had this happen to me before. They were called up for prayer, and then it was a husband and wife up there with them, both with them. Um, I guess praying for them and prophesying. Actually, they were prophesying to them. And so in the video, like you can't fool me. The ones that were called up to be prophesied to, see God showed them a part of these people. But he didn't show them all of it. So, and and they they knew that these this couple was anointed. They did because the man they were younger, but the man he said to him once they prophesied to him, the man said, um, "I died and I died and came back and Jesus and I saw Jesus and Jesus told me to say that he's coming quickly or he's coming soon." And the couple that was prophesying to them. The look on their face, to see the look on their face, that it, it did something in their spirit, it goes to show y'all. Think about it. Kingdom marriages, people of God, and then you have the others that are not of God. And those are the ones that are working together against the kingdom marriages. Get it? Y'all got to get this. The enemy mimics everything that God does. But he does the opposite of it. Anything that's good, think of the opposite of that. That's the enemy. And so he does it in a way to be deceptive. To make it look like, you know, someone's doing something for your greater good. And they're not. They're not. And so he told his testimony is what our, the father had me write. He told his testimony. Testimony. And... After that, he had me write Hidden Secret. He had me write Revelations 9 because I um, he gave this some weeks back. I don't remember the exact amount of weeks, but where the beginning is the enemy's army and the end is God's army. Um, and that is correct and accurate because um, I asked him. And if you read it, um, it speaks on the breastplate. When the, when the Ephesians 6 speak on the breastplate, it speak on righteousness. So, yes, we are warring. We got war. That's just what it is. But you got to remember that you're not warring only against all facets of people. It doesn't matter. It don't matter what you look like on the outside. It don't matter what your, your um, life is like. They can be nice too, y'all. They look like us. Why do you think Jesus... Why do you he kept why do you think he kept telling us to, to um be vigilant, sober and alert? You know, why do you think they kept warning us in the word about um wolves in sheep's clothing? Because they're gonna look like us, they're gonna talk like us, but you gotta discern in spirit and know for certain. Everybody that's smiling your face don't mean that they are in talk Bible and look Bible, don't mean that they have the word of God in them, the true word of God, which is Jesus Christ, in them. Because it's gonna 
come out in their actions, not those fake actions. You still can't deceive the people of God. They still can't figure out why they can't deceive you. Once the spirit of God is strong within you, they can't deceive you with their foolishness. And so, but they keep trying. They don't give up. They keep trying. And we not going to give up either. And so, he had me write breastplate of righteousness is what he had me write. Um, all right. Okay, and that's pretty much uh, on this video uh, of the information. And then, let me make sure. Yep, that's it on the information. And whatever else I have, I'll put it in the other two videos. Because it's um, two specific things he wants me to speak on today. Um, I just say to you guys... Get at the feet of Jesus. Know the time you're in. Redeem the time that you're in because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. You know, you cannot prepare on the natural. You must have prepared in spirit. That's why he keeps telling us those that have ears to hear, those that have eyes to see. You know, your heart can't be hardened. You can't be dull of hearing. You can't um, get at the feet of Jesus. Stay at the feet of Jesus. That's, that's what I keep hearing the Father say because that is the only way that you are going to be able to make it in this time. There is no other way. The thing about it is, even if people watch you, they're not going to be able to mimic what God is doing in this time. They're not. It's going to show them. Excuse me, y'all. It's going to show you their true heart. He's revealing a lot of people to a lot of people. He's revealing things to a lot of people in this time. He's bringing people to mind to you. He's bringing situations to mind. He keeps having me say this. He bringing it, he's bringing it to mind to show you the ones around you that don't, they don't care for you at all. Just because you have the same bloodline, that means nothing. You know, for me, I don't care who it is. It's just so happened that the father worked it where um, no matter what goes on, certain ones will not turn against me. That's their true love for me. It shows their true love for me. He already let me know who's for me and who's not. He's giving me dreams about people I don't even know. Whether they are wealthy, whether they are poor, it doesn't matter. He's giving me dreams about a lot of people. And so, it's um, we're in a time where you, you must be strong in spirit. The Bible can't help you. The cross can't help you. None of that is going to help you. You must be strong in spirit. If you are worshiping those things, it's not of God. Those are things. The, the true and living God, he's living. He's living. He's alive and well. All of those things can't do nothing for you if you are not walking in the spirit of the living God. That's it. And so we got to stop getting caught up on things and stay caught up in Jesus all the time. All the time. Stay at the spirit of, at the feet of Jesus because that's where your spirit continue to grow and you become more. Till the next video. I'm pausing. <laughs> Till the next video, y'all. I'm so sorry. Let me, I may have to watch this one back and see if I can cut these um, pause parts out and then just maybe make notes at the bottom because I don't want y'all to miss this. I want you to get it. I want you to understand it. Until the next video, y'all.